How are you guys doing? I'm Johnny Shabu, giving my picks for college basketball for the day. Today I have like 29 games. Um, it's gonna be a long video probably, so let's just uh, go one by one and see how it goes. Uh, I wanna start off with Michigan and uh, Indiana. Michigan's eight point favorite. They're 17 and one in the season, 12 and one in conference. Um, To be honest, my number is at nine. I feel like Michigan State, Michigan's going to win by nine points today. It's above the eight-point spread, so I'm taking it. Uh, they're eight and two in the series against each other. Um, it's no match right now. Indy's on a two-game losing streak, uh, four and six in their last ten. Um, nine and one, Michigan's in their last ten. I, I prefer Michigan today. Uh, should be a really good one. Texas is in Texas Tech. Now this game is very interesting. Um, um, Texas Tech is favored by three points. In my opinion, you know, they're dominant. You know, they're eight and four at home, but they're five and five in their last 10 and they've lost three in a row. Texas is five and five in their last 10, uh, but they've won one uh, recently. So the last game they won, I think was against Texas no, it was against Kansas, sorry. Went to overtime. Really good game. So Texas Tech now rely heavily on Mac McClung, you know. He's averaging only 16.9 points in, uh, in the season. But he's a smaller guard, you know, only a 6'2". I feel like Texas today is going to take this game. Um, in my opinion, I, I like Texas today. I think they have the more weapons. Uh it's a more diverse team, you know what I mean? They got four starters that average more than, uh, you know, start at 10.9 points to 15 points. Um, and McClung is like, uh, him and one other guy is basically in double digits. It's a one-man show in Texas Tech, and you know what? They're going to put out a fight definitely at home. In my opinion, I just like uh, Texas to win this game. Now let's jump to LSU in Arkansas. LSU is three and five on the road. Arkansas is fourteen and one at home. Um, it's a redemption game. They lost badly to LSU earlier in the season, and uh, you know now they're a ranked team, ranked twentieth. I like Arkansas to take care of business, get some redemption, win at home. They're favored by uh, four and a half points. I see that. Uh, I like Illinois to slap Wisconsin today, to be honest. Wisconsin's favored by three and a half points. Uh, I'm not really gonna go into too much detail because you know, I, I just don't see what the heck is going on. Unless two, three guys are injured for Illinois, I'm all over Illinois. Uh, let me just get that out the way. I see Notre Dame's in BC. Now they uh, they played about a month, a month or so ago and Notre Dame won by 10 points. But BC right now has just too many injuries. There's a lot of guys out. Uh, they're one and nine in conference play. They're two and five at home. Loses a four in a row. <sighs> Tough game. Uh, I would love to be on BC side right now. Um, the only thing is, their most notable uh, game this year is, is a one point loss to Duke. So I mean. I really like Notre Dame to take care of business on the road. They're six-point favorites. Uh, it makes sense to me. Mind you, Notre Dame's also losers of two, and six, and four in the last ten, I think. So uh, it should be an interesting game. The last time they faced against each other, it was a ten-point spread. And if I remember correctly, Notre Dame had like a ten-point lead at half. And BC kept it close second half. They both scored like 38. Uh, pretty evenly matched, evenly rebounds. Uh, they didn't turn the ball over too much. Didn't get to the free throw line much, but also Notre Dame didn't complete their free throws either. I think they only shot four for 10. So I think they can take care of business. They're, they're on a different path right now. I'll take Notre Dame. Washington is in Arizona. Washington's three and seven uh, against Arizona. Basically, Arizona won the last time out by 27 points. This is Washington's third game on the road. Um, Washington's two and eight in their last 10. Arizona's only five and five, but they're winners of two in a row. 
coming home, they're at 11 and 4 at home. And Washington's 1 and 8 on the road. But the spread is a little too high, maybe. 15 point favorite for Arizona. Um, in my opinion, I think Arizona take care of business. Um, Washington has to be tired with all these games on the road, to be honest with you. The last game, uh, I think Arizona beat Washington State by uh, 16 points. Before that, they beat USC. Um, USC by nine points. It was a good game, that one. But I really do feel like Arizona is going to take care of business today. Two game win streak at home. I already smashed this team already. Seems like a reasonable bet. Um, now, VCU's in Davidson. Okay, this game's killing me. But 17 and 5 on, you know, in, uh, in, in, the, in the season for VCU. David says 11 and 7. Okay. Uh, you know, this is the last game of the season. But they're 6 and 4 in their last 10. And, you know, VCU's 8 and 2. To be honest with you, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a very tough game. It's going to be a very tough game for Davidson to lose two straight. And they're, they're a decent team. They're strong. VCU's uh, very good, too, though. They're second in their, con in their conference. Um, Davidson's fifth. I feel like Davidson might pull out the win today, to be honest. But I do like VCU to come within three points. I like VCU to lose by two points. <laughs> I like, that's what I feel. Um, it, you know, I wouldn't be mad. It goes either way. Because, yo, honestly, this game is going to go to the wire. They're playing for all the marbles. You know what I mean? Uh, there's a lot of pride in this game. There's a lot of. Uh, sentimental you know it's a sentimental game I think for Davidson I feel like they need to win this game I think they might win the game but I like VCU to come within um, I have a couple more notes uh, uh, I like Marquette and UConn UConn's a 7 point favorite um, they're 5-3 and three at home you know the last time they faced against each other uh, Book Knight he, I think he had seven points. Oh, sorry. He had six points in that game. He went three for 12 uh, field goals. And he was zero free throws. Meaning that's when he got injured. Uh, after this game, he sat out. And uh, basically, he's back. And I think, you know, UConn won by 11 on the road then. I think they're going to come home and win it again. Uh he has to come and redeem himself, you know, especially in this game, especially how he's been playing now. Everything on his shoulders. And uh, I feel like he's going to want to come and hurt them today. So I'm taking UConn by seven. Uh, another note about that game, uh, you know, Marquette started off with a 12-2 run. And in the second half, uh, ended up having a lead at 42-25 and then got spanked. 40 to 11 in their last 15 minutes. So, um, UConn is going to get them as much. You know, it's a run game. So, expect Marquette to put up some points. Absolutely. But I feel like UConn is going to take this game. Seven points seems all right to me. Oklahoma State's in Oklahoma. Now, I'm an Oklahoma State fan. But I'm also an Oklahoma fan. This game has not been close since 2018 i haven't seen a you know so and this is a rivalry game so i'm all over oklahoma state to take this to overtime yet again i think both in their both last games they went to overtime or some that scenario i like oklahoma state to come within five points today uh i don't know if